Greetings, friends. Last week, I gave you a little background and read to you some excerpts from my journal from 2020. And today, I just want to talk about how I began the journey. I get asked that question frequently. How did you do it? And while I love being able to share my story, it's not how did I do it, but how am I doing it? Because the journey will never be complete until I take my last breath. So how did I get started? Well, the pandemic was my silver lining. Research tells us that major disruptions in our routine are actually what gives us the momentum to make positive changes in our lives. And in fact, that's what happened with me. Deepak Chopra outlines in the book, The Healing Self, that he wrote with Rudy Tanzi, that a normal life blocks healing in our bodies because we're simply too busy with our daily activities. We're driven by work, self-esteem is built on external norms, and our lives are just being, frankly, lived on the surface. So how did I start? Well, I have a dog. I knew I needed to move because I was hurting all over. So me and the dog, the sporting dog that I have, he's an English setter, we started out on a walk. It only took one for Patch to look at me every day with those sad English setter eyes and beg me to take him for a walk. So it was pretty easy for me to establish that new routine. March and April and half of May were marked with walks. That's pretty much it for the movement and the exercise. I practiced piano more because I wasn't playing at school for the choirs and connecting with a few friends that I hadn't talked to in years. At the time, I just wanted to feel better and that's all I was doing. I didn't know that I was taking baby steps to making new routines to my normal life. So that's how I did it. Out of necessity, I started walking. If you want to begin your own journey, you have to start. And my advice is start moving with what feels right for you.